Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheffer here and welcome to lesson seven in Google Slides on how to insert a table. Tables are excellent ways to present a lot of information in a very easily readable format that's also very visually appealing. So rather than write a lot of bullets and fill your slide with lots of text, you can consider a table, especially when your teacher is asking you to compare and contrast information. So you can see here I used a table to compare male to female lions. So let me show you how I made this table. I'm going to start by tapping on the plus sign to add a new slide. I'm going to choose the section header because I want to keep that orange background. I'm going to double tap on that text box and tap delete. Then I'm going to go to the plus sign and I'm going to tap on table. Here's where I can specify the number of columns and rows that I need by tapping on either the up or down arrow. I need three columns and four rows for this table. Then I'm gonna select insert table. Now from here, I can format the table before I even start um, filling in the information. So when I tap on that one individual cell, I can take that corner and drag down and then I can go to the paint bucket on my formatting toolbar, and I'm gonna make this a, a shade of brown. And then I can do the same thing with the middle column, drag down, I'm gonna make this a gold shade, and then I'm going to select the last column, and I'm gonna make this that light color. So now that's all formatted. I can also drag over because I know I want my first row to be bold. So I'm gonna tap on bold. I've selected all three of the um, cells in the first row. And I'm going to then tap on just that first cell. I'm gonna go to my A and I'm going to make this font color white going to increase that size to that recommended 24. You'll notice the B is selected because I already, already indicated I want this bold. I'm going to double tap on that cell to launch my on-screen keyboard and I'm going to type lion facts. Then I'm going to tap inside the second cell and I'm going to keep this black for my font color. I'm going to make this 24 and I'm going to type double tap and type male lions. And then I'm going to double tap inside that very last cell. I'm going to also make this 24. And then I'm going to type female lions. And then I will continue to add the text inside each cell. And the end result is what you see here. Now what you can do is you can tap on the table to select it and you can take that middle pull handle and you can drag all the way down to make it even larger. If you wanted to increase the size of the various cells, you could. If you wanted to increase the font size, um, but you'll just want to preview this as you will with all of your slides in the present mode to make sure it looks good. So I'm going to tap on that present button, tap present on this device to make sure it looks the way I want it to. This looks great. So when I'm done, I'm going to tap in that black space, tap on the X, and I'm back to my edit mode of my presentation. When I go back to that table that I'm currently building, You'll notice that if I tap on just that bottom cell, on the top formatting toolbar on the far right, I can add an additional row. So you'll see that very first button that has the plus sign at the bottom. I can add a row at the bottom. If I tap again, I have the ability to add a row at the top. Whoops. I have the ability to um, add additional rows. I can also add an additional column. So you'll see I can add a column to the left or the right. So if I wanted to add an additional column to the right, I can do that. So if I don't need that column, I can hit that undo button. 
if I didn't need those extra rows, I can also hit that undo button as well. So it's best to plan ahead of time exactly how many columns and rows you're going to need in your table. You might even want to write it down on paper before you start building this table. But as you can see, the finished product is very visually appealing. And again, it's a great way to present a large amount of information in a very easily readable format. And again, your audience is going to be listening to your message rather than spending a lot of time reading lots of words that are on your slide. So I hope this lesson was helpful. And the next time your teacher is asking you to present a large amount of information where you have to compare and contrast, you'll consider using this table feature in Google Slides. One final thing I'd like to show you to enhance the look of your table is to add a border. So as you can see, this table does not have a border. The one that I completed here does. It has that black border surrounding all of the various cells in this table. So the way you would apply a border is to tap on the table to select it. And the border button is the very last command on your formatting toolbar. It's next to the paint bucket. And when we tap on that, we see our borders menu appear. We first have the option to change the color. So I made this black. You also have the ability to change the weight of the border. I kept it at one, but you'll notice if I increase the weight of that border, that line becomes even thicker, but that is entirely up to you and your preference. And then last but not least, if you needed to make a dash border, you could, um, but probably that um, solid line may be um, the best choice in creating a table. So that is one final feature of creating a table that is really visually appealing. Um, and I hope this has been helpful.